another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one, and we're playing. There's a dead doctor on the table. Yep. Who, who done it? Glenn sitting down to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn does sit down to pee. All right. Uh, do you regret not saying that you loved him? He didn't We're tell his dad he loved him when he died. Yeah, his father died, didn't tell him that he loved him. His dad also said that when one door closes, another one opens. That is a true statement. And then since then, Glenn can't walk through a freaking doorway without being transported to somewhere else. Fair enough. He ends up in the super soaker factory. Yeah. Maybe. He'd split with my mom three years earlier. It's messy. Never it's is bad. it. I didn't talk to him really at all. They called me as next of kin, said I should come in if I wanted to say goodbye. I did love him. Okay. He just broke everything. It's nice that he was on a date and he walked through a door and ended up in our office and he gets some therapy because he really needs it. Yeah, except he's, he's definitely sticking that date with the bill. Oh, dude, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Take her out to dinner and make her pay, dude. What was that guy? The tender, the tender ditcher. Oh yeah, the, the got his own show and everything. Yeah, the tender lover boy. Tender lover, chicken lover. Yeah, chicken lover. Did uh, you make peace with your dad? Yeah. Okay. Did you make peace? No. I hadn't seen him for so long. I just let it all out. I, I screamed. I shouted. I. Punch the walls. So he's dying and you roll up and just like go the F off you know on him? He said. He said, you ain't no son of mine. What did he say? Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Over and over again. Aw, he was sad about what he, he did. He did. He did. He really meant it. And when I stopped, when I was exhausted... He smiled at me, like, like he cherished me, like he'd been waiting to say sorry. Maybe he had. Waiting for forgiveness. And you didn't give it to him. Watched him die. This is, uh, this is basically what every father goes through, I think, honestly. And this doesn't seem too out of the ordinary. I guess, did you forgive your father? Like, we're doing some real psychology right now because it's just like, okay, you have daddy issues. Your dad told you to do stuff. Now you're hallucinating. Did you forgive your father? You probably should. You should probably get a pet. Yeah. <laughs> you should get a male dog. A male dog? <laughs> a male dog. Because it'll be like your dad's at home now. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> you can take care of him. I didn't get to. Oh. I didn't get to say I loved him. Yeah, you've already said that, I bro. I didn't get to forgive him. He just said when one door closes, another opens. It, because that's what happens in life. And he died. Wow, that's a way to go out. What does he think of me? Oh, let's make him think he loves him, dude. Jesus, man. Uh, this is exactly why I never got into psychology, Jonas. Yeah, dude. I think I, I like. I would like to talk to people, but like, I wouldn't want to. Like, I'd be like all curt. No, dude, I'm way too much of a boomer to have these types of conversations with people. I'd be like, dude, just suck it up, dude. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. <laughs> <laughs> your dad doesn't love you. It's about. okay. Oh, I know what you should do. Oh, your dad. You don't know if your dad loved you. How about you pull your tampon out and uh, get a belt? Does a it matter belt? if your dad loved you? I guess is that the question. <laughs> right. Oh, we don't even get the chance. Oh, oh, Joe, this is going to be a heartwarming episode on this tender episode yeah. of Dr. Decker's <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Dead Decker, Moesha. All those years, thinking I was the bigger man. It turns out he was. Bigger man. Better man. There's no going back, is there, Doctor? Nope. When one door closes, it's shut forever? No. I mean, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. No, the door is not shut forever. That'll help him. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. How? How do I go back? Gotta go back in time. Oh, yeah, God. he does have a faux hawk, dude. Oh, God. It's so gentle. 
Uh, I should tell Glenn to stop feeling guilty or tell him just to open a door back into the room where he, uh, where his dad was or go back in time. If that helps him to deal with it. All right. All right. Just open a door back. Yeah, just open a door back. Yeah. Try to forgive yourself is the, is the right answer. Okay. Roll That's with the it, right then. answer. That's the WWJ Jayadu answer. All right, let's Jayadu. I think you're probably right. I've been trying to address the symptoms and not the root of the problem. Yeah. You might be the best replacement doctor this place has seen. I'll book a real appointment next time, and you can help me with this. Thanks, doctor. Hey, Jonas, we saved a life, Jonas. I feel like oh. this is the most successful client we've had so far. Man, we did real good with Glenn. We, yeah, it, it, we just got to get him to stand up when he... All right, I'm not even answering the rest of your questions. Screw the rest of your questions. We're done with Glenn. He's cured. Yeah, cured, I, I agree. All right, where, where are we going? We going to... Uh, let's go with... You know, I need, a cal- I need a palate cleanse after that, so let's go with Jaya. Oh yeah, cleanse my palate any Jesus. day. Jesus, all right, we're going with we're going with, we're going oh, with no, Claire. No! <laughs> no, no, I was so ready no, to you, have my palate. No, cleanse. dude, I'm not. I'm I'm doing this not to give you a boner. So look, <laughs> <laughs> hello, Claire. How are you today? There's no lake house today. Sorry, David's not doing very well. Ghost David, you mean? He's caused the problem with the girl. I need to do something. So Ghost David has now caused a problem with Ghost Girl. Yeah, see, we still don't know if that if she really sees David or, you know. What's the problem with the girl? Okay. Have you ever taken Tanazepam, which she or which she has actually, I think she she admitted to it. She asked us to give it to her at one point in time. Was Dr. Decker an alcoholic? Why is there no lake house today? <clears throat> I don't know what Have that means. Have you talked means. to Bryce or Iris? And do you... Jesus, there's a do lot of options for the her. photo. All right. Holy crap. Yeah, no, right? We're going to be here for a while. Let's uh, let's find out about the problem with yeah, the girl. Yeah, yeah. Let's find out what the problem with the girl is. The little girl, our neighbor at the lake house, she says David is weird and creepy. Uh. Doctor! Oh, sorry. Oh, hey. But I found some of the referral letters we were talking about. There is a pattern, but it's not the same for everyone. He said to get them to you right back. So here you go. Just interrupt sessions. All right, let's uh, find out what this is. There's something strange about these solicitors' names: Hackett, Brown, Chart, Token, and Law Cat Rowinger. Ro- Rombach. Rombach. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, X. Yeah. Let's look at. Uh, so, sorry, we're just gonna look at these referral letters real quick. If you could. Get yeah. Don't mind me. Referral letter one. Okay. I refer, dear Decker, I refer to client to your clinic for evaluation. Claire, she's being charged with the murder of her husband. I require you diagnose whether she was a sound mind and has the mens rea required for the crime. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that. Ms. Oh wait, look at look out! It's M S S R S Hackett Brown Solicitors Hackett and Brown. Okay. What is M S S R S? What is that? I have no idea. There's a lot of typos here. Yeah, I, I don't know if mens rea is like it's, it sounds like Latin, obviously, but yeah. All right, all right, cool. It's probably probably the wherewithal or whatever. Okay. Uh, how do I back out? Okay. And what's right. what's referral two? Let's look at referral letter two. All right, Doctor Decker, we believe client. We believe that our client has only given us her first name, Mariana, is mentally unstable, and we would like your expert opinion. No crap. We are happy to cover all the costs and look forward to receiving your report for it with g chart chart token and ba solicitors llp okay this one seems pretty pretty stable okay and it also explains how mariana without a job has been uh keeping up with her sessions yeah 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 okay she's, she's expressed that she doesn't really have a whole lot of income coming in yeah she seems like she's just out here doing things all right refer a letter three all right, for the attention of Dr. Decker, I'm referring you to another client for you today for further psychiatric evaluation. I hope, hope, it is my hope that you concur with my suspicions and are able to find him insane under the guidelines set out within the McNaughton rules. 
Cat Rumbeck, Cat Rumbeck, LLBN, Hans. It doesn't even say who it is. Yeah, exactly. I was wondering that, too. It's either Bryce or Nathan. Glenn. I, yeah, Bryce, Nathan, Glenn, or it could be Dead Boy. Um, either way, this one seems like it's not real because it doesn't, or it's just, like, bad. I yeah, know. I don't know. I don't know what the point of these were, but we'll find Cat out. Rowan Bach. All right, so... Um, if we were to answer so far, I'm going to have to say is that Claire is obviously insane. Mariana's obviously insane and dangerous. Claire killed her husband. And whether it's, she needs to go to and jail. And whether it's Nathan or Bryce, they're both crazy. He gets an extra hour. He repeats days. That's both crazy talk. They're both crazy talk, but it's not. I feel like, like Bryce is dangerous. almost like normal, mm -hmm. and he's just like paranoid, like schizophrenic or something, and like it's just like yeah. a weird guy, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Let's let's keep rolling. We ain't got long left, so let's see what we can All get. Right. What has David been doing to weird out the girl? David has been hunting and skinning again. Hunting and skinning, but from just the look of the torso, skin. he caught a domestic cat. I'm being generous. It was definitely a cat. I spoke to David about it, but I have no idea if he can comprehend me or not. He just grunts at me. He doesn't even smile anymore. Not at all. So you created a zombie. <laughs> a freaking was, Daniel Boone zombie. I was say, right? Ripping in a Terran. All right, let's go a trapping. Where did uh, I, the I, cat? Sure, I, just because this matters. It's a little girl's cat, dude. I was thinking that too, yeah. but it really doesn't matter. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, I left out an important detail. The girl, Anushka. Anushka? She was crying because her cat had gone missing, and she thinks that David killed it. Well, he did, obviously. Doctor... I'm worried. Uh-oh. Let's find out what she's worried about on the next one, though, because that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, you know, it goes ding. It's a bell. Hit it for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.